Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Finally, the Black Stars team, we have been knocked out of the AFCON 2023 happening in Ivory Coast. And this is a sad news. My first AFCON that I decided to come and cover for you guys. It has finally come to an end. So I have to book my, um, you know, tickets and start heading home. And this is a sad, sad one for me personally and for the Black Stars team, for everyone. I've heard report that Coach Chris Hilton will be sacked, as I brought you an update in the last video. And let's talk about more. Ibrahim Osman, he is a one youngster who is playing so well. According to the new reports we are receiving, West Ham United, they want to sign the boy. We will speak a little on that. Then, Emmanuel Shea Adibayo, the striker for, the, for um, Togo national team, he is a former striker for them. He has spoken on the Black Stars players' mentality and how they played the game yesterday. We will take it as well in this video and we will speak about some other news you need to know. On this channel before then anytime you ask please calm down and like the video for me after liking if you are new subscribe to the channel put us some post notifications so that anytime we drop a latest update you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy so this video definitely is brought to you in collaboration with pay and money transfer anywhere you are based in europe or canada and you want to send money to someone based in ghana ivory coast here or any part of africa just visit payangel.com i'll leave the link in the video description and the comment box go there sign up for yourself and use it to send money anytime you want to send money to someone in Ghana. Use Oskeni as your referral, and the first time you are sending, you'll be doing a bonus for yourself. So go there, sign up, and enjoy pay angel money transfer. Ah, now let's talk about the Black Stars team. Yes, we came to the Afcon in Ivory Coast here, and we performed abysmally. After the three matches, we got two points, and um, in those two points, first game we lost to the country that's um, kivered by some two goals to one, and it was really, really bad. In fact, um, the second game against Egypt, we also went in very well, scored two goals, and we considered two bad goals. Then the last game against uh, Mozambique yesterday night at the start Olympic, um, that is Alassa, Watara, the Abimpe, Black Stars, we drew 2 2. Yesterday's own was very, very bizarre because we were leading two goals to now. And just less than six minutes, we have to concede two bad goals to put the game on level. And the Black Stars team, we have been locked out today after Cameroon, they defeated Gambia by some three goals to two. At a point in time, Ghana, we were having hope because if the game had ended draw, then OG, um, in Morocco will also win and some few other things. Black Stars could have still qualified with two points, but two points, I think, is not enough for Black Stars. And even if we had progressed, I don't see any better thing that we could have done in this particular AFCON. So yes, after Cameroon winning, Ghana, we are out of the AFCON 2023. And I think it's a bad news for all of us. But um, 2021 AFCON in Cameroon, we also experienced similar thing. And Black Stars, we had to be knocked out by Kumaros, where we had a point. This time around, we had two points. There is no progress for me, personally. I have not seen any improvements on this team's performance since Coach Chris Hilton took over. And I think if Ghana, we have to do well, then we have to start planning for next year AFCON. That will happen in June. I think um, it will be played in Morocco, yes, next year, Morocco 2025. So, guys, the next AFCON is happening next year. For your information, I know, so I will be asking, when are we going to another tournament? So, Black Stars, if you want to go there and perform well, we should start planning now. We should start planning now for the next year's AFCON. So, yes, we are out, and I think, um, personally, I had a good experience, but the bad experience for Black Stars' performance because I enjoyed other nations playing than my own national team, Black Stars. So, yes, that is it. Now, let's talk about some other news. Ibrahim Osman, he is one ringer who plays for FC Nordland in Denmark this season. He's done so well for himself, scoring about seven goals, providing about some six assists in all competitions. And um, today, we will get a report according to Jacobs Ben that West Ham United, they have also shown interest in this ringer and um, he's a good talent and I think if he gets into one of those clubs in England, he, uh, he can also start doing the magic. Brighton of Abbey in England, they have shown interest in the boy already. Crystal Palace have also shown concrete interest in the boy. Then now, West Ham United, according to Jacobs Ben, they have also jumped into this race. They all want to get him this particular general transfer. You know, transfers are ongoing. Even today, West Ham United, they have signed Kevin Phillips from Man City on loan. So it tells you that business are going on. And West Ham, they want to get another Ghanaian boy um, to join them. Already, they have a goalkeeper who is a Ghanaian boy. And now they have also gotten kudos. And they also want to push 
and get a boy that is uh, Ibrahim Osman to also join them. Borussia Mönchengladbach from Germany, they have also shown interest in him. So I'll be following and bring you up to speed updates where this will actually um, go to land. Whether the boy is going to join Brighton, Western United or Crystal Palace or any team in the EPL, I'll follow and bring you updates on this channel. Now, before we close or before we um, end everything, let's talk about Iman Oshie Adebayo, former striker. For the Togolese national team yesterday when he was watching Ghana play against Mozambique. In fact, during the game, he brought his thoughts and also after the game, how Black Stars players performed. He has this to say on them. Let's check it out. After that, we will talk more. Right, you are. I'm not surprised. I'm, uh, I'm rather disappointed coming to this game. They knew they have their destiny in their hand. They knew they have to win. They knew this is a key game for the country and the way they play is just unbelievable. They play with no um, no envy, they play with no motivation, they play with uh, with you know like no communication. No agency. No like they play that they are not, they are just here for fun and for me it's it's completely wrong. It's really, really disappointing and I don't know where the Black Stars are going to go from here because two points are not may not be enough. I don't know where they want to go. I think the best place to go is to go back home to Ghana so they can all flow back to their, their, their clubs. And uh, Because we can't see them doing anything anyway, let's put it into perspective. Let's see if Ghana qualified. What are they going to do in the next stage? There is no point. There's no point. All right, guys. Yes, so that is it from Iman Oshie Adebayo. Um, around this point, there was no light. Yes, they took our lights here in Ivory Coast. And uh, unfortunately, I have to also lose my sound. So the sound might not be great. But you have to forgive me on that front. And let's talk about the final one. Yes, so coach for the Gambia national team, Thomas Senfie. Thomas Senfie is one of the best coaches um, that I've seen in some few years in Africa here. He's doing so well. And today, the coach, he has resigned from coaching the Gambia national team because his country has been knocked out. And that is really surprising to me personally because if you look at the country gambia i don't think the target was actually to win the afcon but maybe for not qualifying from the group that is why he has resigned the last afcon he did so so well for the gambia national team they progressed to the quarterfinal where they were actually knocked out by cameroon in 2021 um, they did very well, but this time around, they were knocked out today as they lost three goals to two on the hands of Cameroon. So, Thomas Senfiet, the report is that he has resigned as the head coach for the Gambia national team. Many are linking him that he is coming to coach the Black Stars team because he's one of the coaches that Ghana um, Football Association, they were actually trying to get him before um, we eventually landed on getting coach Chris Hilton. So, some unconfirmed reports are saying that coach Thomas Senfiet might be in line to coach the Black Stars of Ghana team if coach Chris Hilton is sacked. So, I'll be following and bring you up to speed updates on this channel, guys. So, these are the few updates I have for you. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This is Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later.